relation between highest common factor and least common multiple. We have an example where we know what is LCM, we know what is HCF, and one of the expressions is also given, we need to find the second expression. In any mathematical problem, it's very important that you identify and write it down. What is that you know? What is that you, what you are given in the question? So here, what is given here is the following pieces of information. You have HCF and you have LCM. So LCM is equal to 2x plus 1 into x square minus 1 and HCF is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1 and one of the expression is also given and that is so expression 1 expression 1 is equal to x minus 1 time 2x plus 1. So these pieces of information are given and what is that you want to know? To know is this that you want to find out expression 2. So once you have identified what is given to you and you also know what is that you want to know then look for any formula or relation which connects the given and to prove or what is that what is you want to answer. So we know that uh, the formula that connects the given and the to prove or to know is this polynomial a or expression 1, expression 1 time expression 2 is equal to LCM time HCF and so this is expression 2. So you want to know expression 2 therefore we have expression 2 we will isolate and keep it always the unknown is kept on one side it's isolated and everything that is given or has values that is transferred on the other side of the equation so this is LCM time HCF over expression 1 and now you know what is LCM and you know what is HCF and you know what is expression 1 so write them down LCM here is 2x plus 1 so this will be 2x plus 1 time x square minus 1 time HCF HCF is 2x plus 1 divided by expression 1 and what is expression 1 that is given x minus 1 time 2x plus 1 so now you have everything in place on the right hand side and on the left hand side expression 2 is isolated that's what you want to know and now factorize write it in simple form 2x plus 1 and you know x square minus 1 is of the form a square minus b square which means difference of perfect squares and you can write factors of x square minus 1 as x minus 1 time x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 over you have x minus 1 into 2x plus 1 and now cancel out the factors whichever you can x minus 1 will cancel out with this 2x plus 1 will cancel out with 2x plus 1 and you will be left with the expression 2x plus 1 time x plus 1. 
So this is how we use this formula expression 1 time expression 2 is equal to LCM time HCF. If any three of these quantities are given, the fourth one you can find out by isolating the unknown on one side and transferring everything else on the other side, then substituting the values and simplifying, you'll get the answer. We do another question here. And in this question, we have expression 1 is given equal to x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2. We have expression 2 expression 2 is equal to x cube minus x square minus 2x plus 2 and we are also given what is HCF HCF is given this is equal to x minus 1 and LCM is what is required what is that we want to know so now we know that the relation which is connecting all these is since expression 1 time expression 2 a our polynomial a time polynomial b is equal to lcm time hcf and what is that we want to know right now is LCM. Sorry, this was LCM. So LCM, we will isolate LCM and we will transfer everything else what is given on the other side. Expression 1 time expression 2 over HCF. HCF. And if you want to write from left to right, LCM could be written as expression 1 time expression 2 over HCF. Okay, now write down the values. What is value for expression 1? x cube minus x square, that is x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 times expression 2 which is x cube minus x square x cube minus x square minus 2x plus 2 divided by HCF. What is HCF? That is x minus 1. Now what we need to do is we need to divide one of the expression by x minus 1 because it's HCF highest common factor that will for sure divide both of the expressions evenly. So it doesn't matter whichever you choose but you will be able to divide it completely. So first we are going to pick up second expression let's say x cube minus x square minus 2x plus 2 and then divide it by x minus 1 and let's divide it by x square and this will become x cube minus x square change the signs and cancel out this will come down and this will come down minus 2x plus 2 and then minus 2 will be here and this will give us minus 2x minus 1 time minus 2 will give us plus 2 and the, when we change the sign 
this will give us the remainder 0. So, what we have now as a result of that division, so the result of this part is x square minus 2. So, we have x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 times x square minus 2 x square minus 2 that was the answer of that division and now we can perform multiplication if we want to write LCM as a polynomial so x square will be multiplied with the entire factor x square time x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 and then minus 2 time x cube minus x square plus 2x minus 2 and this will give x power 5 minus x power 4 plus 2x cube minus 2x square minus 2x cube plus x uh, plus 2 x square minus 4 x plus 4 and now we can see which one of these will add up x5 and minus x4 2x cube and minus 2x cube they will cancel out with each other and minus 2x square plus 2x square they will cancel out with each other and we'll have minus 4x plus 4. So this will be the LCM.